So I restarted my computer one more time. I realized that my key map was still not working. So I adjusted the file a little bit more and removed the two options down there. And now I'm having the proper keyboard loaded. And the next step would be to start um, installing some software. And most people will want to install a browser first. So I personally prefer the Pi Firefox. So I'm going to install Firefox using Pac-Man. So you can see uh, Firefox is a pretty big package, so it's 346 uh, megabytes in size. That is because it has a lot of dependencies, plugins and stuff like that. Okay, I want to install one more packet before starting Firefox to show you how much resources we are currently using and therefore I'm using HTOP. And as you can see right now I'm using uh, 173 megabytes of RAM and our CPU usage is around 0%, somewhere between 0 and 1%. So if you compare just the amount of processes we have running, it's just like a handful, like 20 processes tops. And just compare that to a uh, current Windows, how much resources the Windows needs to just run on its own. So I also have the Terminator Xterm and I prefer the Terminator called Terminator. Uh, the terminal called Terminator. And there we can see we have a, um, a missing key. And this is the first time we are going to be using our Firefox to look for an error. And this seems like the um, most viable solution to me. So we are going to install the keyring package. And now we run a update. And 
then we simply try to install terminate one more time and this time it seems to function and there uh, we have our good old terminator So right now if I press Windows and enter I get a beautiful Xterm session but I want to switch that over to um, the Terminator I just installed. So we do that by simply removing the Xterm package and that will automatically set um, the Terminator as the default terminal. Uh, to close a window you can simply press Windows, Shift and Q. And now we can open a new terminal session by pressing Windows Enter and this time we get our lovely Terminator. Terminator has a few advantages I, I, I like. You can just right click and uh, basically split it horizontally and split it vertically. Which is pretty useful. And you can easily just move around the, the middle parts. So this gives us a little bit more options to work dynamically. So when typing Pac-Man, you can see that I c can hardly read the characters because they are somehow overlapping. So from my understanding, it's the easiest solution to install a new um, a new font packet. So TTF minus Deja Vu, and of course I need to type sudo, and that will install a packet called uh, Deja Vu. Now I can go to my settings here, go to profile and click on my uh, font type. Then I go up to the font I just installed, which is called Deja Vu, and I'm going to use uh, the Sans one. Now I press OK. Oh, hold on, I selected the wrong one. Where is it? Deja Vu Sans. Now I press OK. You can see that I now have the Deja Vu Sans selected. I have those four checkboxes selected as well. And now I can close my window. And you can see I have to close the window and open it back up. And I still do have a little bit of weirdness here. So once again, I'm going inside the settings, back to profile, and I'm going to check this uh, checkbox up here. And now I can type it just fine. So from my understanding, um, I basically installed a new font, set to that font, and then reverted back to the system font, and that somehow regenerated the, the font files. So the next part would be to uh, open up the D menu, which was Windows and D, but instead of opening up uh, the menu up here, it's not working. So I type pacman minus S D menu. And again, I forgot the sudo, and that should install us the dmenu packet. And while it's installing, we can take a look inside our i3 config. And we search for plus d. And here you can see we have a line that says start dmenu a program launcher, dmenu run. So when pressing the our super key, which is the Windows key and the D key at the same time, we should get the D menu. And there we go. I press D menu and now I can, for example, uh, start up my Firefox over here. <laughs> 